Good morning, everybody. It's Gina. It's the day before weigh-in. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so let's just be transparent. I went on the WW website this morning completely and totally looking for the discontinue page or shut this thing off button <laughs> couldn't find it nowhere do you think that was a sign <laughs> uh, I'm doing really well I am not following the Weight Watcher plan I'm still on I'm still there I'm still paying for it I still go way in and get the thing but I'm telling you Handing it over to the Lord was what's working for me. And thank you, Jesus, for it. Because I feel better. I, now, let's just be clear. I had a day yesterday, day, two days, actually Saturday and Sunday, where, um, you know, you just have those days. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You just have those days. And uh, then I, last night when I went to bed, I thought crap Gina you never took your pills today well hello one of those pills is my um, uh, hormone which is what makes people like me and then I realized okay you haven't taken your heartburn pill in two days so there I think I kind of figured it out but I was just a haggy bear but it's late I'm not going into work till 10 today our school was on lockdown again because they heard shots this morning. No kids were at the school. They couldn't get into the school, so it disrupted everybody's lives. Third time in two months, our school has been on lockdown. Now, granted, it's not the town that I live in. It's the town that I work in, and it is a very poor surroundings. Um... I mean, the town itself, my entire life has been known as just, if you want any type of drug, go there. But I've also went to church there my entire life since I was 12 years old. So there's good and there's bad. But I don't know. The lockdown business at the school is starting to wear on me because you know how it's affecting all of those families and them poor little babies that were in the school twice and locked down in one week it's uh, it's they don't understand and the ones that do understand shouldn't understand yet but they do you know what I'm saying it's just sad it's a whole the whole scenario is sad does the town need help yes are we there to be a help yes would I change it no I wouldn't change where we're at but what I'm saying is is it's the you know it's the world it's where we're at in the world and it's just bad. But um, the, the, the lockdown has been lifted, so I went ahead and came in. That gave me time to go ahead and film my Tuesday morning haul, which I did. I'm gonna be editing that today. Excited about that. Have my way in tomorrow. I guess I'm gonna talk to them about how I go about closing down Weight Watchers. I don't know, should I continue to pay? Is that what's keeping me on track? That I go in, I still go way in. But I am not using the app, I am not tracking, I am not stressing, I'm not thinking about food, I'm eating when I'm hungry, and I'm eating less, and let's just talk about the coffee for a moment, okay, can we? Okay, so I have been having this very weird, um, it's not an emotion, I don't know what the word is, um, something happening inside my body. You know that feeling when you've, uh, you're have you scared, you're nervous, uh, or you've had too much caffeine and and you just have that, you're jittery, your insides are going like this even though you're steady still, but your insides are going 100 miles an hour. So I've been feeling that for maybe the past week or two, maybe not two full weeks, maybe a little more than a week, but uh, whatever, you know, somewhere in there. And so I'm sitting there thinking, what in the heck is going on? 
I've already cut my coffee down to I have a cup in the morning and a cup in the evening and then a lot of times like last night I didn't even have the cup in the evening and so I don't drink soda uh, you know what is it what is causing this and um, so I've been having strawberries lately but I have been putting a little bit of sugar in my strawberries and then sticking them on a, on a cake and I'm still losing I mean you know I'm not even griping about it but what I'm saying is this jitteriness that I've got going on well I'm sitting there thinking okay yes you've been consuming that that's more sugar you have the sugar in your coffee and you know I've been kind of dabbling in some candies <laughs> so I had too much sugar we know that that's what I think was affecting my vision because I completely dropped all the sugar other than in my coffee and my vision is getting better already but I'm not diabetic I'm gonna leave that alone and so uh I'm trying to figure out what this is I mean it really doesn't matter what time of day it is when it is have I ate have I not ate you know what is causing it and I'm sitting there thinking and thinking I'm talking to Tom I'm like this is what's happening to me you know help me pay attention what is it well we really have no idea other than <laughs> my fault you sometimes need to be specific with the Lord I have been praying that the Lord help me not get headaches when I have less coffee and just to be better with coffee in general I I'm wondering if he's just taking it completely away from me and I gotta be honest it is the anxiety with that <laughs> is so stupid for one thing but it's kind of affecting me like I literally didn't have a cup of coffee till about 15 minutes ago so um, I normally have my first cup of coffee immediately when I get up out of bed which is you know whatever time I get up but by now I've already had two you know by 10 15 I've already had two and by noon I have my third now this is at all you know not not in the last month or two where I've been doing a lot better but in general this is my look at my face my coffee habit um, by noon I would have my third cup when I got home from work at three ish I would have another cup lay down and take a nap get up make dinner um, sit and watch TV clean the house whatever I had to do in the evening by 7 I start my evening coffee that's either one or two cups right before I go to bed full full strength caffeine that's how I've been for decades 18 years for sure because I know it kind of started when I woke up and started getting back um, for those of you that might not know I was in a coma for a long time and uh, when I was re reevaluate, you know, whatever, readjusting myself to life, um, is when I really started having way too much coffee. So I think he might be just completely taking it away from me because today when I had my coffee, being mindful of the jitteriness, not really knowing it's the coffee and my pushing the edges because I really don't want to give it up. I'm being, being honest. I really don't want to give it up. And if I prayed for something and that's what it turned into, then that's my own fault because <laughs> he gives us what we ask for. But um, I had a, a little cup, which I don't have with me. I was going to bring it, but I didn't. Um, it's a little Disney cup, not a big Disney cup, and I only made it half. So I maybe had six ounces of coffee today, where normally by now I would be at maybe 30 to 40 ounces of coffee already in the morning. May, maybe 30. Yeah, probably 30 ounces. <laughs> wow. Wow. Spilling the beans, Gina. I am spilling the beans on myself. So that's where I am emotionally. I'm not, that's not the right word. It's not. It is a physical thing, but I don't know what that is. That that jittery business going on. So um, I'm working on that and uh, cleaning myself up, getting myself reading the Word, preparing, loving on the Lord, and being more mindful of my surroundings and what's going on around me. Of course, praying for this town because apparently we need it and uh, that's it that's what I'm doing that's where I'm at I weigh in tomorrow 
I don't know. You guys go ahead and weigh in if you think I should. I'm really, I am mixed emotions about staying or quitting Weight Watchers. I'm not following the plan at all. And it's working for me. But is it working for me because I'm still weighing in? I still have that accountability. Is that worth $45 a month? Not doing the program? I don't know. Chime in. Let's chat about it. Let's figure it out. What do you guys do when you have emotions where you're like, I'm so done. Two years, less than 20 pounds. Was it worth all that money? Which was basically over $1,000. I'm guessing somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, not really. Especially now that I know that this is working for me. So, but I don't know. Is it the accountability factor of it? I don't know. I don't know. Chime in. Let me know. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. God bless. Look at my pretty rose bush on the back of my house. We never touch that, and look how pretty it blooms. Love it. Just beautiful right now.